Hi everyone and welcome to our inaugural episode of What's New in Swagger Hub Explore. So this is the first in a monthly update that we'll bring you talking about all of the new cool developments that are happening within our brand new API exploration tool called Swagger Hub Explore. Delighted to be joined by the product manager for Swagger Hub Explore, Tamil Sanchez. Tamil, introduce yourself to everyone please. Hello, everybody. My name is Samuel Sanchez. I am the product manager for this uh, new Swagger Hub Exploration product and happy to walk you through the new functionality that, that we're providing and hoping to, that everybody finds value in it. Brilliant. Um, so before we get into the brand new features that have just dropped to me, why? because this is the very first episode, why don't you give everyone a brief uh, introduction to the new tool itself and what it's all about? Of course. Uh, so Swagger Hub Exploration or Swagger Hub Explore allows you to very easily start interacting with APIs and really play around with the different permutations of uh, potential uh, data and metadata from an API so that you can better understand how to consume the API and not spend too much time, you know, in trial and error phase when trying to interact and trying to consume this API. Um, as of today, uh, Swagger Hub Explorer supports RESTful APIs and Kafka services as well. So you could also uh, subscribe and publish to Kafka uh, channels. Uh, yeah, so I'll turn it back to you, uh, yeah, Frank. Great. Yeah, I know it's, there's been tremendous progress. I'm, I'm really excited about, about the new developments here. And it's great to see that so quickly after initial launch that new features are already being added. Um, so what we'll be talking about today is the, the addition of um, using agents for exploring local or private APIs. So maybe you want to give everyone a bit of a, an overview as to what this feature is all about and why we built it. Oh, yeah. So during the beta phase of our product, we only supported uh, testing uh, cloud APIs or APIs that were available to the general public. Uh, we really quickly understood there was a very big need to interact with APIs that sit behind firewalls. Uh, we obviously have internal microservices and, um, you know, other APIs that are not uh, production and are pre-production phase with new functionality that folks need to interact with and better understand. Uh, and we very quickly understood that and added functionality to be able to support these cases. The way that we support it is by providing um, an agent that you can download and it interacts with uh, Explore. So, the agents are available in Mac, Windows, and Linux, the most common type of or flavors of operating systems that, that are out there. And instead of in, instead of uh, executing the request from the cloud, what happens is it's being sent to the local agent that it's installed on your machine, and the the you know the it'll interact with the API. Once it gets back the response, it'll be visible within Explore. Yeah, great. Yeah, I think that's incredibly important. Like any time I've ever built an API or you're coding locally. As soon as you have something that that compiles that builds you, you generally want to fire it up and start uh, interacting with it so having an easy way to do that um is very very beneficial uh, for for developers okay so now i'm going to demonstrate as uh, some of the, the new features that have been added to me so i'm going to just going to focus on the local connection agent not give a full tour of swagger hub explorer i think you've already created some excellent videos that everyone can can follow to get a, a big overview of, of all of the functionality that's offered. So jumping over to Swagger Hub Explore, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna showcase an API that I have locally and uh, a deployed version of that API. So I'll start with the deployed version of the API, which I've deployed as a Lambda function sitting behind AWS Gateway. Because that's public, it's in the cloud, I'll continue to use the uh, regular cloud execution as we would have done following the initial launch of Swagger Hub Explorer. So if I hit send to this endpoint, <coughs> excuse me, I'll get back a list of books. And uh, the API is very simple, supports getting books and getting books by ID. The get books endpoint also allows me to do some filtering so I can filter by author. I'm gonna filter by Panelath to filter for uh, Josh Panelet's new cool book called Designing APIs with Swagger and Open API. Um, so what we can see is Explore here is 
showing me uh, the query parameters highlighted quite nicely for me in the in the path uh, input box but it's also added it as a query parameter into the headers and parameters section making it very easy for me to to navigate and change the the data and explore uh, the api in, in different ways what i also have running is a local version of this uh, lambda function so again this is just briefly showing you in vs code the open API definition, so showing you the paths, again, get books uh, path and a get books by ID path. Uh, it's running on this endpoint locally. So what I'm gonna do is go back to explore, open up a new exploration tab, paste in my local uh, endpoint. But before I can hit my local endpoint, I first need to switch from cloud execution into local uh, agent execution. So on the right hand side we'll see this uh, cloud icon with a tick that indicates to me that I'm connect connected to the cloud. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to click that, it's going to open up the cloud execution or sorry the connection execution menu and I'm going to choose the local connection execution. Now if you don't already have the local agent installed as Tamil said you can quickly choose your operating system of choice here, hit the download button and follow the simple installation wizard. Um, I tried to connect, it's telling me it's unavailable, so that means the first thing I need to do is to uh, start the agent. So I'm going to do that right now. So it's installed on my local machine as the Swagger Hub execution agent. I'm going to start that. Uh, now I can see the terminal popping up over here, telling me that the agent is starting up. I'll just give that a moment to start up. Now it's started up, I'm going to switch back again to the local connection execution and it will pick that up as soon as it's available. Sometimes it can just take a moment or two. There we go, it's connected. Uh, so now I'm connected to uh, the local execution agent, meaning I can tunnel through to what's running on my local host. Uh, so I'm going to hit send here to the books endpoint on localhost. This is going to take a couple of seconds because behind the scenes it's just spinning up a, a Docker image for uh, the Lambda function to ma make sure it can run on my local machine. Uh, but nevertheless, once that executes, which it has, you can see that I'm getting back my books and exactly the same functionality is available except now I can have the, the wonderful ability to be able to explore my local APIs. So. That is uh, the end of the demo for our, our quick update. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. We'll, we'll bring you a monthly update of, of the new cool features that are happening across uh, the Swagger Hub Explorer product. Uh, myself and Tamil hopefully will we'll have something nice and cool to show you every month. And we really encourage, if you haven't already tried Swagger Hub Explorer, follow this address, uh, give it a try. It's a free tool and it will help you explore RESTful and Kafka-based uh, APIs. So thanks very much, everyone. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, Frank, for going through that for us. Enjoyed it, Tamil. We'll speak to you next month.